Hello there, my name is Krati. I'm going to do a tutorial here for new guys to armor. So basically I'll start off from the scratch. You install the game, you start up armor and you will end up on this screen. From here I'll show you a few steps to get started. First of all you should click on the options and profile. This one here would be your normal user login and you cannot really edit it. So you create a new one. Click on new and then put in the name you want, choose the face you like, choose out the pitch of your voice and click OK. Before we start to configure video and controls, we jump in the editor so we can actually see what we are configuring. I will do a editor tutorial a little bit later. But for now we are just placing a simple guy by double click on a random place. Click OK and we are done. Choose Preview and we can load in the map. Once in the map you might want to check out your video settings. If you move around and your FPS are OK, then you are good. But normally as Armor 3 Alpha is not really optimized yet and pretty demanding, you should visit your video settings. Over here there is one of the most FPS improving things, it's the view distance. So when you really turn it up, you can see much more far, up to 12 kilometers. But for better FPS you should better tune it down. I have it around 2 kilometers. The same is for the object throw distance. So you can see here, if you check up the hill, that I can basically choose how far I can see the object. I have it on around half of my overall distance. Same for the shadow. I have it on around 100. This is very important for your FPS. Next one is the rendering. This especially affects your GPU graphic card. I have pretty much everything on Ultra here. I just disabled the post processing because I don't like the blurry effects. When you go over the quality, you have another possibilities to fine tune your settings. This here especially affects your CPU. So if you have a little bit weaker CPU, you better tune it down. When you're done and your FPS and your graphics is okay, we can move on with the movement. One last hint. Actually on the Armor 3 Alpha I realized when you go in the game and you have bad FPS, try to alt tap and go back in the game sometimes the FPS might really increase very much. Anyway, now for the movement. So Armor 3 basically is starting like every other Ego Shooter, even if it's a kind of a middle sim, you can run around like this. But you have a lot of more possibilities as I show you here. How to use all these things I will explain now. First of all, by hitting the enter button on your numpad you can switch over to third person. This might be disabled on multiplayer servers for improved realism, but for a tutorial it will do. The next one and very important feature is the head movement. You can assign a key, uh, I think it's called free look, to move your head without actually affecting your body. This is a big difference to several other shooters because actually you can straight run like this and still have a situational awareness around everywhere. Also it's very useful if you're hiding on a static place and you want to see around without being spotted because otherwise you have to do like this. Of course you are a much bigger moving target than just moving your head. Anyway, now for the controls. Armor 3 has quite a lot of controls, but first of all, we start out with the infantry movement. This is like normal, and here is already what I configured a bit different. So, this is just, you do it like you wish, but this is my settings, and I'll show you what is important to check out so you can use it. Fast forward, I placed on double pressing W. Turbo is basically the same, it's left out. So, this is double pressing W or just left out, it's printing. 
be aware you cannot sprint forever, the fatigue might kick in and you will end up like this. Also when you just run for a while, your aim might be less accurate than normally. So you better shoot when you're rested. But more for the shooting a bit later. Let's go back. Here is a new feature from Armor 3, it's called Combat, combat Pace Toggle. I will show you that together with the walk around temporary. Default Combat Pace Toggle is on C. I moved it over to Space. So what is the Combat Pace Toggle? This is when you run normally. It's not really useful for close quarter. So when you actually want to shoot while running, you use the Combat Pace Toggle. It's this one here. So you're a little bit faster than walking and most important your gun is up. You can aim through your sights, aim through your close quarter sights and lay down some defensive fire to get So hitting space again, you will run like this, space again you're back in the combat pace. So when you're in the combat pace and you actually want to be a little bit more accurate, you click on shift button. For me it's shift button is to walking. So you're already pretty accurate here as you can see. Going back in the controls, I'm going to show you now about a bit of leaning. And a very nice feature. Where is it? It's the adjust button. So the new feature of adjusting is very very useful. As you know you can stand, you can crouch, you can go prone, but with the adjust button you can do much more. For example, holding the adjust button from each left control and pressing S you go like this. Pressing W you will go up. You can do this step by step. Very useful to take cover behind some obstacles, shoot over some obstacles, stand up and even raise high up. This here is just a very small effect, but it's very useful for shooting over some obstacles. Together with the leaning, you can use it very good for close quarter. So I'll just show you over here. Also new is you can use control, so your combat pace toggle, and D or control and A for moving like this. You can then improve even more by hitting E or Q. If you get a little bit of feeling for that, you'll be very very good with that in close quarter fights. So let's check out what's still left. So just step over, salute and sit down are the other important or less important things. Step over, clear. Jumping over some obstacles. Here are the funny parts, saluting or sitting down. So that's it with the movement. Let's move on to shooting. So as Armour 3 is kind of a nice mix between some ego shooter and military simulation. Of course shooting is a very big part of it. First of all I want to show you the optics. So this is here the close quarter side. If you have this kind of optics on your rifle, you can switch between close quarter and long range side by trying out the division sign on numpad or holding left control and right mouse button. Pretty obvious for what this is good for. So when you actually want to shoot, I'm now shooting a little bit more far away, so I'm using the long range. And as you can see, as I'm standing up, the aim is not really accurate. I can improve this a bit by holding right mouse button. This is basically holding your breath. As you will see, it's not working for long, because of course you have to breath again. So in general, the standing up is not really effective by shooting. So if you want to be a bit more accurate, you better crouch down. Try again. Best of course if you have the possibility to lie down, you are much more accurate. Holding your breath here will make you best shooting possible. 
Next thing I'm going to show you is, if you check out the top right of the screen, you can see that for now I'm in single fire. If you press the F button, you can switch over to full fire. Different rifles have, of course, different firing modes. For now, full, full automatic. Best use on prone, of course. If you stand up like this, and you don't work against the recoil, you will end up like this. You can see, you really have to work with your, with your mouse to press against recoil. Trying it out now. So, to be a good shooter, you have to train quite a bit. Of course, it's better when you crouch down. So, better shooting, you better shoot in bursts. Or single fire. Of course, you can also shoot while walking. So this is the toggle, um, the combat pace as I told you before. It's, as you can see, not really useful for long distances, but for laying down some, some pressing fire at the enemy, on the close range, it's quite useful. When you walk, Next thing I'm going to show you is throwing some grenades. The default button to throw grenades is on G, but as I'm used to armor 2, I configured it a bit different. This is when I press G, I'll end up in my gear, which on default is on the I button. For throwing a grenade, I moved it over to a mouse button of mine. So, throwing a grenade is just for now like this. Keep in mind, this is the alpha version, I'm pretty sure they will improve it, and you will have different possibilities to actually throw a grenade. What's very important is, if you hold the left control and the G button, you can switch over through different grenade types you got on you. So, left control, G, now I'm throwing a smoke. Back to high explosive. Of course, you can as well throw grenades from different positions. So, that's basically it. You now learn a little bit of the movement of armor, you learn a bit how to shoot and how to use grenades. For more detailed shooting tutorials, check my channel, I will upload something like that soon. Goodbye.